Hi guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel and welcome to my crusty dusty life. I just hope she don't wanna leave So right now I'm finna do my hair. I'm finna do my hair and oh my god, why is it so far? So y'all, I'm finna do my hair. <sighs> Lately I've been putting my hair in a ponytail and I have no problem with that. But it's the edges. Some of my edges don't want to stay in the lock. Well, I mean I accidentally pulled too much out and now they won't go back in. So I'm finna cut my edges. And mostly I would never like even use my hair. Also, by the way, if my hair does look weird from the back, it's because I restarted for my like if y'all remember those two locks in the back, I'm gonna put like a picture. But I had two locks back here and they would always hurt whenever I did a style. So I combed them out and I restarted the process in the back. So now I have four starter locks at the moment. And there's what's supposed to be a person that's supposed to be with me for today. But I didn't even tell y'all what was going on today. I'm just talking. Let's just do the hair first. And I'll tell you everything in the car. This is as good as that it's going to get. I wish it would look good like that one time I did it. I'm going to put a picture right here too. Because that came out so good. And I was so happy that it came out good. But now, it's like when you do that one time, it's like you want to look like that forever, but then all the other times when you try to do it, just come out like crap. And yeah, so y'all, my edges, they've been a little bit too long. Like I will, like one, it's not like it's going from like different, it's going like from different places. And whenever I like do my whole little swoop it up, you know, and I swoop them, it'd be so much just over there. So I'm gonna just cut them a little short because I feel like it's needed. Especially this side. This side has way more. So, yep, we're gonna say goodbye. I can't believe I actually did that and went through with it because I mostly am scared to like cut my hair. And I'm so serious. Like I'm actually shocked that I actually just did that. And I, I know folks in comes from like, girl, it's your edges. They grow back. I know they grow back. I do. But I've never like just been like, oh, let me just cut my hair, you know? So let's hope that my edges come out good because everything today is just, ooh, I rebuke the devil. Jesus. Everything gonna go good today. Everything gonna go good today. Everything gonna go good today. Okay, let me. Yeah, let me just go ahead and try and do my edges and see how it would look. Okay, now it's not that bad. It's a little bit, but it's fine. It can mostly be like a lot, and then like it'd be like a whole clump right here. And at first, I was like, should I just straighten my edges or like relax them? But um, I don't really put chemicals in my hair. The only chemical that has been in my hair is bleach. So we are gonna just keep it that way. <laughs> And y'all, I know that it looks like it's bald right there, but really that is the blonde. It's just the blonde. Cause like, if I pick it up, blonde. But when it's on my skin, laying down, slicked back, it looks like I'm bald and I hate that so much. Like, babes, I'm not edging. I'm not edging. I'm not balding by my edges, I promise you. Okay, now that this is done, um, I'm trying to think, what do I need to do right now? I really am trying to get this to slip down. Have this oversized t-shirt on. Okay, guys, yeah, so in this vlog, really, I told y'all I was gonna sit on the car, but I'm just telling y'all now. So basically today, we are going to be going shopping along. Reasons why is because, well, everybody else is busy. JD was going to come with me today, but his brother is going to prom and they're all going to find a little prom suit. And I'm like, go do that with your brother. It's, it's fine, I'm fine. My mom and my dad, they are on their little date. They're going to have like a little, uh, a little day with each other, you know. And I'm like, oh. And then there's me. Bored out my mind. Home. I would rather stay home and play card all day instead of go out. But today we really do need to go out because 
I have been invited to the Gamma Beta Phi Honor Society and outstanding student. So I have two award ceremonies to go to next month, which today is Good Friday, but next month's gonna, the next week is gonna be April. And my first ceremony is uh, April 3rd and the other one is on the 12th. And I need to find some outfits because I don't know if I showed you guys my Phi Theta Kappa on Saturday. Basically this is my second on Saturday I've been in. And well, in college. And um, I don't even know if I recorded that one. I know JD can record for me, but I don't know if I put it in the video or not. But anyway, so I need to find me some outfits. I don't want to wear the same thing. I don't like wearing dresses. I was going to give me dresses, but then I was like, babe, we don't wear dresses. What are you talking about wearing a dress? So I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. I know how my hair is going to be because um, one of my friends from school, she's going to install my wig because I don't feel like installing my wig for myself. And I have a, and I have a story for y'all later on in the vlog, but get ready for that. So right now, in a minute, I'm going to go on my my closet and see what type of shoes I have so I can know what idea I can have in my head. Last night I was looking at pictures of Pinterest, pictures of Pinterest, pictures on Pinterest of different outfits to wear. But it's like some of the stuff is not my style. Not just that, but it's not like my body type. So like my body type is not petite, skinny, slim, thick in the waist and scalumptuous booty in the back. Like I don't have that. I have big chest, big butt, well, might be a little bit of big butt, might not, and then uh, a back, a little guts. I have a guts, bookie, I'm fat. So I need to figure out what am I going to really be trying to wear that will go with my body. Um, yeah. So let's go and let's let's go to the closet real quick. So yeah, my closet is a little bit of a hot mess right now. A little bit of a hot mess on the floor because I had to move a lot of stuff out of my room. But anyways, let's let's focus, Malak, please. So, one of the outfits is like a denim type feel, but I don't know if I should wear heels or not. And my jacket just fell. Mm. I don't know if I should wear heels or not, but I'm trying to see what we got because I have like two black type heels. So when I tell you I want to wear sneakers so bad, I do. I really do want to wear some sneakers. So we have, first of the black shoes, we have these right here. These are some black heels. You know, they're really, yeah. Had that big block so I won't fall on my butt cheeks. I think I might just wear these and be done with it. Because my other one, I think it's a little smaller. And let's just say, Malaka's not trying to fall. <laughs> Best believe, because if I fall, baby, I'm stand, I'm sitting. I'm laying down. Going to bed. Rest my soul. Like, I'm not getting up. Because, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. No, thank you. Then here is the other shoe, which is like this. And I had these for, like, my high school graduation. And looking at both of them, babes, we're wearing the wedges. Because, uh-uh. Because I ain't gonna lie, these just was so hurting me. And I was low-key scared to wear these because when I was graduating, they were like, I think there was like some holes and whatnot. And I'm like, I do not want my, my heel to fall in this hole. Because if so, and I step forward, I'm going to stay there. Like, people don't get it. I'm gonna just stay there. So, now that we have a visual of the shoes, let's go. Now, hold on, y'all. I just thought of something real quick because I look in my closet. I do have this, like, plaid jacket shirt. Oh, gee, almost fell. This little plaid jacket shirt. I might wear this for one of my outfits. Yeah, so we already found one. Yay, thank God. Who I ain't gotta, cause I was like, I'm gonna have to find like two different type of shirts and just match them with like some pants. But we already got one. And I think I've worn this before, but like it's been a minute. But I could just do this with like a white shirt and like wear it with them heels and then some black jeans. Which I need to buy me some new ones cause the ones that I have, they have like this weird stain on it. And I've been trying to get it out and I don't know, I don't know what it is. So yeah, other than that, let's get in the car well let's get ourselves fully ready first So we're in the car. I have the air on. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not because it's hot. A little, a little hot out, a little windy-ish. But before I go to the store, I need to go ahead. Um, boo. I need to go to the gas station because I need to put some gas in my car. So.
Y'all, I am so happy because I swear, I thought my gas was finna be like $35. And I was scared for my life. Like when I said I was scared, like not like scared, scared. You just want to do the but I swear I thought my gas was gonna be like in the 30s, but it's, it was only like $25. I was like, Arr. you're on my side today. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Let's let's talk about where we gonna go to find these clubs. So in my in my mind, I'm thinking about going to uh, Rainbow, Burlington, Madrag, Madrag, whatever the word is. That place. Uh, I was gonna say J.C. Penny, but J.C. Penny never had anything good at all, in my opinion. So not J.C. Penny. Um, I was gonna go to Ross, but Ross is all the way in OB, and I don't know if I feel like driving all the way to OB. So that's how we're feeling at the moment. Um, like I said, I'm trying to find like this denim outfit. I'm gonna show a picture of the jacket that I'm looking for because I looked it up last night, and hopefully they have it at that location. If not, I'm gonna have to change my what I'm what I'm going to be getting. But y'all, before I get to the video, subscribe to the channel down below on Instagram and TikTok, and yeah. But y'all, I am very nervous right now. The reasons why I am is because well. How should I put this? I've never went shopping by myself. Like, all the times I went shopping, y'all saw it will be me, my mom, or me and JD. I've never just went by myself. And I was gonna ask my best friend, but I think she doing something, or she probably sleep. So, yeah, I don't know. But I never really went shopping on my own before. And I'm, I'm a very introverted, homebody person. So, me going out somewhere alone, and just being out in general, it's just like, look, my social battery be going down so fast. And I'm just like, baby. I'm ready to go back home. But today we're going to, I've been trying to get out of my comfort zone. So we're going to do that today. So hope we can find everything in one place. So then, you know, the video not going to be short though. Y'all, I'm telling you, the video not going to be short. But just don't have to be ripping and running around everywhere. I wasn't, I'm thinking about not going to Burlington only because the fact that Burlington never have, they never have anything in the right spot. You have to dig. Like you got to really dig, 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 dig through everything just to find something. And babes, I don't think I'm really ready for that much moment right now just be digging and digging like mostly when i'm shopping like i'll shop online shin fashion over what do i bada about like i would do that but anything else um, yeah i don't know but my first stop gonna be starbucks because y'all tell me why i forgot my water at the house so i'm gonna go to starbucks and get me a water which water is free so i'm gonna give me like a little venti water uh, I've been doing, I, I ain't never told y'all this before, but I've been on a fasting. Yeah. Fasting where like I've been, so my fast was to not eat sweets for a whole month, which I've done that. The month is not over yet. I have two days left. I have tomorrow and Sunday. After that, once it happens first, I can eat as much sweets as I want, which I feel like I'm not really going to be able to, because like I've been able to fight my cravings and urges. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to drive that fast. This is a 45 limit, baby. Stop it. But yeah, so I feel like I've been doing good and I'm gonna keep it that way. I've been on my journey of my, my Christian journey, which I've always been Christian, but it's like not like, you know, like when you're born and raised in it, it's like, you know, but you don't read the Bible as much and I was like that. So like I've been reading the Bible and doing all these things and whatnot. So yeah, guys, that's what I've been doing. But yeah, hopefully we find something today and hopefully I don't get stressed out or have a whole little mental breakdown because I'm like, oh, God, I don't look at it. it, 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 it. So yeah. Um, other than that, I'm gonna play some music. And my folks, they eat out for breakfast. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I was probably gonna, I'm low-key thinking about going to Firehouse, but I don't know if I should go to Firehouse. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. And I could get me something from Starbucks, like me a little, a little bagel sandwich, you know? Just a little egg bite, some, you know? But I don't know. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at the menu and see. Cause I might give me like, you know, just something a little snack on. Cause I really don't know. Like I ain't ate ever since last night. Like last night, me and my best friend, we took Kubicon. And we was, you know, we were eating, we were chowing down. So, but I'ma see y'all in the Starbucks park or drive through whichever one. So y'all, yeah, right now, we are in one of our locations, which, like I said, at first I was like, I don't know if I'm going to go to Burlington, but I'm going to just go just to see. I'm going to see. What is this? Oh, I'm going to go to see. I got my little venti water with ice, and I wanted to try something different, so I got this, like, maple, maple butter chicken sandwich, chicken and egg sandwich, something like that. So, this is how it looks. I don't know how to feel about it because it's chicken and eggs. Like a chicken sandwich with egg. I've never had chicken sandwich with egg before, but let's try. Dang. Mm. I feel like it needs cheese. That's just how I feel. I feel like it needs some cheese, some cheddar, some, some, some cheddar, but mm, it's hot. But it's not bad though. If I could rate it like out of 10, I think I'm gonna give it a, a seven. It ain't the best in the world. Like it feel like something that you could like, this what, what this remind me of is like, you go to like a Walmart or a Kroger and 
they have like them little like them jimmy dean jimmy deans yeah that's what it remind me of but i'm gonna go ahead and get done with this and then i'm gonna see y'all in burlington i'm not gonna talk as much but baby they ain't got nothing in here like i'm not to talk in the car because of the music but yeah they barely got anything in here so yeah i know that was those were some quick clips because baby burlington did not have anything and i should have followed my heart knowing that they wouldn't have anything because i'm looking through it everything just looks so huh. only one thing i found but i'm like that would not look right at all like it would look good with like an everyday type of wear but mm -mm. Like literally, I want to know what is Burlington really like. Is it another version of Goodwill? Or like, it was another version of stuff like people don't be wanting no more. They've been like, you know, they don't get sold often because the only good finds you can get is for boys. Like oversized shirts, joggers, hoodies. Like those are the only things that I would see getting from Burlington. So since we couldn't find out in Burlington, we're gonna go to the place that we already gonna go to beforehand, which is Rainbow. Oh, there are so many people out. It's just mm, I'm already not liking this already. But hey. Trying to get out my comfort zone. Yeah. But yeah, so many people out here, boy. In these streets. Up. Like, let me hold on. Let me go out over here. Because I feel like that's right there is packed. Well, yeah, when I tell y'all it is mm -mm. hopefully I can find a parking spot over here though. Yeah, we did. And y'all, I seen a bunch of folks walk out of uh Rainbow with some stuff. The last time I went to Rainbow, everything there, it was like it was all catered to like skinny women. But they say that it's changed, so we gonna see. Like I said, y'all, I'm not a person to be going out and you know buying me a bunch of clothes like boo i be at home but let's see if we can find this little outfit that we curated last night in rainbow footage don't look bad because y'all it was really cramped up in there and then also you don't have no bath to like put your clothes in so i'm over holding one hand my keys the other hand and also trying to like so i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i've been trying to get better like a lot of times i've been recording i'll be recording i don't be recording a, I don't be recording a lot i don't do y'all i found my whole entire outfit at rainbow the total was 57 dollars and something something cent but so that was a total um let me see I'm gonna say, I know she put the receipt in here. So, the crop jacket was $22. The little crew neck uh, white shirt was $7. And the pants was $22. So, it was $57, $75. But, yeah, y'all. So, now that I'm done shopping, we are going to Depot, Denise. Park right, girl. I'm so glad you hit my car. But, we are gonna go ahead and head back to the house and we're gonna try these clothes on and see how they will look on moi. Uh, I know that I need to do my hair also. I, what I will say is I am happy that I have to do too much running around and that I looked stuff up before I went out because y'all like i said before i'm not a person that really goes out and do things like if i'm going to go get me some clothes i'm gonna go on shein to cook away but basically stop being lazy and actually go to places so hopefully y'all i really wanted to try the outfits on but i couldn't because their um what's it called their fitting room was closed bro please don't go you see me right here the whole time but they fitting room was closed so i couldn't try it on so like i'm just going with my gut that everything fit perfectly and also they had a lot of good looking things and i'm like oh should i start going to rainbow should i do a little bit of rainbow shopping or something because rainbow got some good stuff in there like i could buy me a whole little outfit at home a little home homey 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 outfit you feel me but yeah y'all so we finna go home and put this outfit and see how it looks and i'm gonna go after and after that i'm gonna do some reading of the bible and possibly since i don't have nothing else to do today i'm gonna just like go ahead and wash my hair and do that little scrub thing because i never showed y'all me using it but i talked about it but i never showed y'all the product so we gonna we gonna do that but see y'all at the house Oh, we 
me. It made me so black. Y'all, this traffic, this the owners, this the reason why I hate Goodman traffic. Goodman traffic on a good Friday is not good at all because it is so packed. Like y'all, act like y'all can't wait for nobody. Please don't hit the people. Like for instance, we were, I'm, I'm in the whatever lane and these people behind me decide to, you know, let me get in the middle, right? These folks almost hit these two women and a baby. I'm like, not, it wasn't, not like it's like, whatever. But it was these two women and a baby. And I'm like, please don't hit the folks, please don't hit the folks, please don't hit the folks. Like, they were speeding. Luckily, the folks had stopped, like, fast. They stopped before they could hit them, but it was, like, a little bit off. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Like, y'all making me sick. Like, y'all act like y'all cannot drive for crap. Like, please. Come on now. Like, Jesus. I'm over here getting stressed because the way these folks driving, like, baby, it's never that serious to be driving and acting out like this. Yeah. All right, now I'm finna take like a little shortcut to get on the road because, child, I ain't gonna lie. I lucky want to go to Bath and Body Works, but I ain't gonna do that because I'm gonna be spending the whole band in there. So we just gonna go past that. Ooh, they changed it, y'all. They changed. I'm like, hold on. I'm finna look in here real quick because there's this place. So like the place where they had Bed Bath and Beyond where me and my mom used to always go to for to find me some college stuff and all that. It's changed now, look. It's now Har Haverty's Furniture. So we finna go look in there. And I would go when my mom is here. Oh my God, why is it just dangling like that? That's never happened before. But I'm, I wanna see what's in here. Yeah, I'm gonna see what's in here. Cause me and my mom been talking about what I would do for like my apartment and stuff. Oh, let's look in here. They probably like, would you like to buy? No, ma'am. I'm just looking. Just looking, sweetheart. Nothing. I'm not buying. Nothing. Just looking. Three thousand. Jesus. Y'all. Yeah. So. This is cute. No dining chair. What's this? I like this a lot. I'm trying to see what I would find. I might cut some of the stuff out because of the music, but I've never seen a dining chair like this before. Mostly like dining chairs, you most see them, you know, not like this, but these are like more fabric type, but I don't think I would get that from my apartment because I'm clumsy and I do not want to deal with stain on the, the chairs. I, mm -mm. And then Pika, so. I like that. I would get that for like my room or like just something like to put in like the dining, not dining area, but like for like a probably like a guest room or something. But I like that. They got the little incline. That look like it'd be nice. I know my dad would like this a lot. This right here, that look kind of good. But I am liking this black one though. I ain't never seen a black mattress before. This is almost like my bed at home. Cause me and my dad made it. It's like a bed under and a bed above. This is, hmm. I actually like this lamp. 200. So y'all, I'm out of uh, Haver, Haverty's, Haverty's, Haverweez, I don't know. But I was looking around, hope I did enough recording, but 
It looked really nice in there. There's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna show my parents too. I feel like there might be some things. And I saw this one little thing that's like in front of a bed, uh, the bed that I feel like my dad would like. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my parents there one day because it was some good stuff in there actually. Cause at first I was looking, I was like, they ain't got Jack. But Mr. Danny, Danny Alexander, I got you bud. We're gonna come here. We're gonna see what we can find in here. Cause I ain't gonna lie, like I've been trying, I know my mom, she probably wanna do this with me instead. But I just felt like taking a little peek a little wooda wop, you know, just to see what they had there before wasted our time going there. But they had some good stuff in there. They really did. They ain't gonna cap. And I made sure I asked them, I was like, is it okay if I record? And they was like, oh, no problem. I'm like, okay. But it's like the fact that like, when I walk around, like, folks just stand, I'm like, y'all ain't never seen young girls try to look furniture? Like, do I have to be 50 or 35? Like, come on now. But yeah, y'all, now I'm gonna go ahead and head to the crib because I'm ready to go ahead and see how these clothes will fit on me and see is it gonna look banky? How? Or is it gonna be like, Ew. you know? How? So let's see what we can find, Bookie Nuggets. So y'all, I know I said that um I was gonna be going to try the outfits like that, but y'all gonna see that later. Right now I'm with mom and dad, say hi. Hi. And uh, I'm crashing a little day, which they said I'm not, but they're going to Whole Foods, so I'm gonna go with them just because. And yeah, so y'all gonna see us go to Whole Foods. I don't know what they're going to Whole Foods for. I haven't been in a while and I wanna go. Basically what she said, so we're gonna go. y'all these folks tricked me i wanted some food i wanted some food and we going back to the deep freezer we didn't trick you y'all they taking me to the deep freezer and i told them i'm going in because why are we in the deep freezer we're not going inside the deep freezer it still be cold on the outside it'll be freezing i don't get it, see it here. it's not really cold. And plus you got on more clothes than we do that don't mean nothing i get cold easily I ain't liking this not one bit. PSA, if you ever come to Restaurant Depot, make sure you have a whole big bubble coat and five different pairs of pants on and some boots because it is cold in here. It's not as cold out here, but in the freezer, when you close by, we were, stand, we were just standing right by. All that wind triggered up my legs and I got jeans on. Like, y'all, mm -mm, I cannot. So y'all, we are out of the freezer. We made it free. If this video goes out, it means that we made it. And my camera is so blurry. I don't know why. Hi everybody, we are back home. And now we are gonna try the clothes from Rainbow. So, let's go ahead and start. So I'm gonna show you guys everything individually before I put it on. So, this is the crop denim jacket. I just in a XL. Then I got me some jeans. I try to get jeans that match the color as possible because they didn't really have any that like really matched match for real. So I got me some jeans and then a white shirt to wear under this just in case if it shows some skin. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now looking at it, these pants are a little bit darker, a little bit darker, but luckily I do have some jeans, which the jeans that I'm wearing right now, I could wear these with this. So still good. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and try this on. So you guys, this is the outfit. I don't know how to feel. Let me turn. But what? It looks what good to me. The pants, these are the pants I've been wearing all day. This match more than the pants I got because the pants I got is a little bit darker. It looks nice. So 
rainbow. Now I got the white t-shirt under it. And then, yeah. But does the black make it off? Black goes with everything, honey. That looks nice. But let me show y'all the... I showed y'all before, but let me show y'all the pants, though. So this is the how it look with the pants that I got from there. So what do you think? It, it looks nice. So which one, the light jeans or the dark? I think the darks will go because you have like the the dark patch in the shirt. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't know cause like at first, at first when you like look at it, it look like it'll match it like inside, but like now it look like it's like a little bit darker. It is darker. But I mean, it's all denim, so like denim all mm -hmm. denim together. But yeah, I agree the other pants would go better. Mm -hmm. But those do look nice with that. But the other ones would go better. Yeah. So should I do the other ones then? Mm -hmm. I mean, I got some jeans out of it. Yeah. So, you guys, this is the outfit I made. My hair not going to be looking like this. Let me see how it is right now. My hair not going to be looking like this. I'm going to have a wig on. So it looks 10 times better with the wig. But, yeah. Nice outfit. I would never expect me to wear something like this because... I don't really dress up, so this is like a little occasion thing, or you know, or a date thing, or a date thing. Yeah, like me and Jay go on a date. I could just put this on, have a little t-shirt under it, wear me some slim thick pants. Mm-hmm. You don't even wear these. those with them. And yeah, guys. So this is the outfit for my for one of my award ceremonies. I think I'm gonna wear this to my Gamma Beta one that's coming up next week. Now, guys, I don't know what we're gonna do. But we're finna do something. I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna do right now. Y'all just gonna see. Just follow along. Cause today we're gonna have a long vlog today. Cause we've been recording a lot. So, yeah. oh yeah. And y'all, look at mom's hair. I did it myself. Y'all, look at my mom's hair. It's so cute. Turn to the side. What? <laughs> Turn to the side. Okay, now that's what you're saying. Excuse the office. This is our office where we do our business side of so if you're case business you see, and other selling stuff. So if you see a lot of stuff in the background, that's why. But yeah, guys, so I'm back in the room and we were gonna go take Pika out for a walk, but it's getting a little lit. It got dark outside, so we're not taking her. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I had got from Whole Foods. So this is um organic clear acai powder it's not the acai like the blue the berry this is not an acai berry this is something totally different from what the man told me my mom my dad that basically this came from a tree from africa and it helps with gut health um it helps with losing weight what is in my hair what is this or is that just shine I think that's just the shine. Oh, that is just shine. I'm over there something my hair. But they say it helps with gut health. It helps with... Let me look it up. Because he said a lot of stuff that it helped with. But Lord knows, I do be forgetting stuff. So, that's simple. So, basically, so like I said before, it helps with gut health. It helps you lose weight. It also helps with heart health, protecting against diabetes, and a lot of stuff. It has a lot of fiber in it, which also helps you... Which Fiber is something that you really need to go use the bathroom. And um, it's a prebiotic. So basically it fights off the stuff that like is not good for you. It already fights it off automatically. So it's a prebiotic. But I'm going to be trying this soon. And I'm going to tell y'all. And we're going to see how it does. So, But before I take this, I'm not going to take it tonight. And also he told me that you're not supposed to take it with cold water. Because cold water, from this is what I just learned today. Cold water actually backs you up. You're supposed to be drinking room temperature or warm water. I never knew that. I thought it didn't matter. I thought it was water is water. So, yeah, if I take this, I'm to start drinking just straight up warm water. Well, room temperature water and not, uh, what is it? And drink a lot. Like, don't just, you know, drink it and be done. I got to drink a lot of water the whole entire day and take it twice. Um, but before I even take this, I'm going to go ahead and get done my bloom because I did not get done. I still got uh, more packets of bloom that I have on campus. So, I need to get done with those. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video up here. So, if you guys like the video, subscribe. Down below will be my Instagram and TikTok. It'll be right here. And I will see you people, people next time.